In about five hours, two of the biggest metropolitan areas in central Florida will impose a shelter at home. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us from Orange County with what we just learned from county leaders in the past two hours. Orange County tonight has some of the highest coronavirus cases in central Florida with more than 100 reported having it today, including a nine year old child testing positive today. Because of that, the mayor says that he wants to stop the spread of the virus with the stay at home order that begins at 11 o'clock tonight. You see empty cases. Tonight, the Backhouse German Bakery in Ivanhoe Village will be closing its doors for good here in Orlando. There will be no more Backhouse Orlando. Wow. Sad. Losing most of their staff just before making the move to Mount Dora. Cover for six, eight weeks. God only knows for how long. As Ali Naji folds up his rugs at Moroccan Living, he tells me he's thankful he won't have to fold his business after closing today. You see, he's in better shape, saving up enough to sustain a closure for a few months. We feel like uh, we've done the right thing by saving some money and be ready for something like this. Believing Mayor Jerry Demings made the right decision with making the stay at home order. It's better be safe and just close down for a short while. The order begins tonight at 11 p.m. and will last two weeks. Non-essential businesses will close, but essential businesses like grocery stores, pharmacies, health care providers, gas stations, and restaurants that offer takeout will stay open. This afternoon, Mayor Demings announced he is amending the order to allow for all businesses to go into work, but at a minimum capacity for administrative work like payroll or applying for loans. We realize, though, that this puts many of them in terms of cash flow into a very critical position, uh, but we don't have good options at this point uh, for them. And so far, just two counties in central Florida have issued stay-at-home orders. In addition to Orange County, Osceola County also has a stay-at-home order going into place at 11 tonight. No other counties in our area have issued them at this point.